Alright, I'm going to keep this real simple for the retards in the back. I know that's most of you. Mullen's obviously squeezing. Mullen's lawsuit's obviously amazing. I obviously put Mullen in this situation over the last two years. David can thank me for everything he's got in his life and that he's about to get. You're welcome, David. But you all fucked up and you all suck and you all didn't do it good enough. You all didn't do it on my time. So I'm done with all of you. Fuck Mullen investors. I know you're a bunch of bitches and I know that they're still cheating and they're going to squeeze it while they're cheating and it's going to convince a bunch, a bunch of you and most of you to sell. Because you're bitches and you aren't going to be willing to hold until the fucking lawsuit gets to the point where it needs to get. And that is what it is. So I hate you for it. I hate that you weren't loud enough. I hate that you didn't bring enough of your friends and family in. I hate that you didn't do enough to have your influence in the Mullen market like I had mine. I hate that I was the only one. And that's a true story. Like the only other one that you can even count for Mullen is Cal. But again, doesn't count when he gets put in there to be the fucking face of David Mitry and the connection of retail to David. Like everyone else, they're doing what they're doing because they're involved. They're insiders. They are what like everyone else like. Uh, the, Sam I am I mean how many times did we see where like Cal would do space calls and like bring him in and make him popular and obviously he's willing to talk and willing to make videos and do things that are cool and entertaining and so he gets a following that he deserves for the effort he put in I got no problem for any of that but all I'm saying is you guys messaging has always sucked you have always sucked you're nothing compared to what I've always been and your best moments in all of your fucking moments was when you're just reiterating what I've already stated. When you're going through and making some argument based on something that, like, my people would send to your people and say, like, make him talk about this. Always your best moments, because we know that I'm the only one talking about what fucking matters. And so, at the end of the day... We know that David owes me more than I owe David. We know that the world owes me more than I owe the world. We know that you fucking owe me. But the problem is there's nothing you can give me that's going to make me happy except for your fucking life. Your fucking faith, your life, your heart, everything about you, everything you own is mine. And you need to understand that. If you don't understand that, you need to get the fuck away from me. Because I got no time for anybody else. It is always my way or the highway. And I only want the people that are looking for a leader that's going to take them to the fucking promised land. Everyone else, go the fuck away. I don't like you. I don't care about you. I don't ever want to see you or speak to you. You are not buying me a drink. You are not buying me a dinner. I don't fuck with you. If you read the New Testament, which is the only testament, because the New Testament literally states that it overwrites the Old Testament, and that the laws of the New Testament are the only laws that exist for man today. And what does it say about tithing? Everyone gets their faggoty-ass 10% tithing rule from the Old Testament. What does the New Testament say about tithing? The New Testament says you find the person that represents God on earth, and you give them a hundred percent of your life. It's called the law of consecration. And ultimately, if you don't give every dollar, every land, every value that you have to the person you claim to be in guardian, the guardian of your soul, then you are not a follower of anyone as your Christ. And that's fine. Just stop pretending someone is your Christ. Stop pretending it's Jesus. Stop pretending it's anyone else. Because if you really were following a preacher or a prophet or anyone that you believed in, that person would be responsible enough to know that he walks with God and to take everything you have. Not for his own pleasure, but because he knows 
that God will guide him to do what's best with everybody's money. And it's not about taking one person's wealth from them, but it's about taking everybody's everything and turning it into a community establishment where everyone thrives together. And there is no poor, and there is no rich, and there is no class warfare. That is what it's literally about. And so again, a lot of a lot of douchebags gonna try to come hit me up and talk about how like, hey bro, here's ten thousand dollars. Thank you so much. Like, bro, ten thousand dollars does nothing for me. Hundred dollars does nothing for me. Ten thousand dollars does nothing for me. Ten million dollars does nothing for me. I've had all of those numbers before. And they meant nothing to me. Willing to burn them at the drop of a fucking second. And why was I willing to do that? The reason I'm willing to do it, because it was never about the money. It is about the authority. It is about the power. Well, I've seen enough to know that what I'm looking for, I'm not going to find inside of Mullen. So I'm fucking done with Mullen. And if David doesn't fucking come out and state that Marcus Ray is his favorite fucking human being on this earth, me and David are going to have a huge fucking problem. Like the clock is counting for fucking David right now. Y'all fucked me. Like you're all a bunch of cowards. And I gave you way more than you deserved. And you're all going to go fucking take what I gave you. And then spit in my face like I already know you do. Like you already know you do. Like it's proven every fucking day. Whether it's on Twitter, YouTube, or anything else. Just by my likes. By what gets retweeted. By the shit that gets said on Twitter. You're all a bunch of bitches. And I hope that I never have to speak to anyone that I've ever spoken to in the last 33 years of my fucking life. Since I've been alive. I hope I never got to speak to one motherfucker that's ever existed in my lifetime since then. Because I know that the ones that are about to show up, the ones that understand that I didn't, I'm not here for the money. I didn't fucking do this for the last two years and three years and AMC and other shit that I've been doing. Whether it's life insurance, roofing, all of it combined, everything was building to this moment. And this moment had nothing to do with money and everything to do with getting my moment in the, in the TV spotlight, whatever you want to fucking call it. Like, I'm getting all of it. At least for 72 hours, it's mine. Like, just you watch. And, again, the only thing that matters is in this message is that they understand the ones who are out there are looking for their leader to give their fucking life to because they know they're fucking nothing but a useless fucking worshiper of Satan and that they can only get their salvation through the chief shepherd literally blessing them with exaltation that's true salvation there's a second layer of salvation for the rest of y'all but those who want to be gods they know there's only one way and if that dollar in your bank account or that billion dollars I put in your bank account matters to you enough that you can't give it to me get the fuck away from me you pussy ass motherfucker